In the top stories, Senkin Sanivis government moves to stamp out fake marriages. Immigration Department moving forward with plans to establish enforcement unit and the St. Kitsnevis 40th Independence Calendar of Activities launched. Details on these stories and more after the break. there are a few essentials a bat a pitch a ball some fielders and plenty of refreshments enjoy the cricket with Angostura Chill Angostura Chill the official refreshment partner of the Hero CPL T20 Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Channel 5 newscast. I am Jasmine Thomas. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis is moving to stamp out what it refers to as fake marriages fueled by a pay for citizenship scheme to quickly get St. Kitts and Nevis passport. Speaking at the Prime Minister's press conference with cabinet ministers on Thursday at the NEMA conference room, Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Legal Affairs, the Honorable Garth Wilkin, strongly said that this illicit practice must come to an end. We are finalizing new marriage verification regulations very shortly. Under the Citizenship Act, marriage verification officers will be assigned to interview and monitor applicants to determine whether a marriage is valid and persons aren't getting married simply for the purpose of citizenship, which is a breach of our citizenship. He added that a black market industry was discovered in the country where citizens are being paid to marry non-citizens. We discovered a widespread black market industry where citizens of St. and Nevis were being paid as low as $850, and as much as $10,000 to marry non-nationals, who then obtained their citizenship the next day. That was Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Legal Affairs, the Honorable Garth Wilkin. The St. Kitts and Nevis Immigration Department is moving forward with plans to establish an enforcement unit that will strengthen the protection of the Federation's borders. Acting Chief Immigration Officer Sheldon Jeffers said that the creation of the unit is a priority as the department is an essential COG in the national security structure. Mr. With the absence this on the most recent edition of the radio and the television program in focus. With the absence of that enforcement unit, um, it's sort of restrictions in, start in terms of um, going out in the, in the field to look for persons who have been overstayed. Even though we know, because our records indicate that we have a, a huge list of persons in the Federation who have overstayed, but in the absence of the enforcement unit, um, we, do, we do periodical checks. Um, we would have vi visited certain business establishments. Uh, we depend on the intelligence of the persons in general public to assist us. And when we go out to look for them, it's one of, one of three things, or two or three things that we could do. We normally encourage them to regularize their status at the Ministry of National Security, or we ask them to leave, or the third option we could charge them for overstay. Mr. Jeffers added that the border management system is also being upgraded. The software includes a built-in module reporting system that highlights cases of persons overstaying their visits. 
The deployment of the enforcement unit will also include identifying cases of persons entering the country from an unauthorized point as well as cases of human smuggling and trafficking. The St. Kitts and Nevis Independence 40 calendar of activities was officially launched during a ceremony at the circus in Bastia on Friday. The ceremony featured musical and cultural performances and remarks by Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley and the co-chair of the Independence 40 Committee, Dr. Marcus Natter. As the country prepares to celebrate its 40th year of independence, Minister Hanley, during his remarks, expressed gratitude to the Federation's stalwarts for their contributions to the development of the nation. We thank all those who have labored all these 40 years. Our nation's father, Sir Robert Llewellyn Bratch, and all our other heroes. Whatever role you played, playing and those new volunteers on board. The government and people of St. Kitts and Nevis says thank you. He added this year's celebration coincides with the 40th anniversaries of a number of institutions and diplomatic ties with other countries. This year is also a very special year for it is the 40th anniversary celebration of our relationship with the people of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Ambassador Lin, please express our gratitude to your government and people for all that you continue to do. It is also 40 years for the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. 40 years for Ross University and 40 years of diplomatic relationship with the good people of Venezuela. Minister Hanley also stated that the activities for this year's celebrations features events that every citizen and resident of St. Kitts and Nevis can be part of. Some of the activities include a national song competition, seniors fun day and a cultural bar crawl activity and activities will run from Friday 14 July to Saturday 15 October 2023. After the break, Cary Brewery receives ISO 22000 certifi 22, certification and Nevis completes phase 2 of road rehabilitation project. Stay with us. Get ready for the biggest sales event of the year. It's the Horseman Furniture and Appliances major, major sales event where we're slashing prices by 20% off on all major appliances. Are you looking for amazing deals on refrigerators, stoves, large appliances, washing machines, and even microwaves? From the latest models to top brands, Horseman Furniture and Appliances has it all at unbeatable prices. Whether you're upgrading your kitchen or replacing old appliances, this is the perfect opportunity to get major savings and save big. These deals won't last forever. This is a limited time opportunity to snag the appliance of your dreams at 20% off and get double cashback coupons with every purchase. Don't miss out. The Horsewood Furniture and Appliances major, major appliances sales event where quality meets affordability. Don't miss out on the biggest discounts on refrigerators, stoves, large appliances, washing machines and microwaves. Hurry in today and make your home a major delight. Major savings, major discounts, 20% off on major appliances plus double cash back for free groceries happening now at Horseman's Furniture and Appliances. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Welcome back. Cary Brewery St. Kitts is officially an international standard organization, ISO 22000 certified company. The brewery received the certificate in a ceremony on the company's grounds on Friday in the presence of government officials, staff and other stakeholders. Quality manager at Cary Brewery, Mr. Desroy Tate, stated that with this certification, the brewery is now able to produce all products at an internationally recognized standard. He went on to explain the role of the ISO. ISO is the international standard organization. They develop and publish standards internationally agreed by experts. 
think of them as a formula that describes the best way of producing or manufacturing any product, managing a process, delivering service, or supplying material. Mr. Tate also spoke about the importance of pursuing the certification. ISO 22000 is the international standard that deals with food safety. And the fundamental question today is, why is this important? Why invest time and other resources to achieve certification? Essentially, we recognize that our consumers should be provided with beverages that are safe and of the best quality. Products that are safe for consumption without any risk or potential hazards. Essentially, the best products with the highest level of confidence. Minister of International Trade, Industry, Commerce and Consumer Affairs, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, described Carrie Brewery's achievement of ISO 22000 as a major win for the entire country and its economic capacity. He added that this achievement is in conjunction with the government's goal to establish a national quality culture in manufacturing in the Federation. From an industry standpoint, we think that this particular feat is a major step towards the government's own strategic goal of building a national quality culture in manufacturing here in St. Kitts and Nevis. This also comes on the heels of the government's action to roll out the revised manufacturing strategy very shortly which covers all areas of the manufacturing sector from the very smallest of our enterprises to the largest corporations here. During his remarks, Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew congratulated the brewery on its achievement. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I extend my warmest congratulations to the Carib Breweries, St. Kitts and Nevis Limited, for this remarkable achievement, your relentless pursuit of excellence and unwavering dedication to quality and safety have made you worthy recipients of this record. Carrie Brewery St. Kitts Davis is involved primarily in the manufacture and distribution of beer stouts, malts and soft drinks and also distributes cigarettes. The Honorable Spencer Brand, Minister of Public Works in the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, says the completion of Phase 2 of the road rehabilitation project on the island's main road has significantly enhanced the road infrastructure on Nevis. The project was completed on schedule and saw upgrades to the water, electricity and telecommunication services, as well as the drainage in the area between Cliff Dwellers and Nisbet. Minister Brand provided this update during the most recent sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly. The Nevis Island Road Rehabilitation Project Phase 2 from Cliff Dwellers to Nisbet has been, in all, in, all intent and purposes, Madam President, has been completed. And the objectives, Madam President, sought to ensure that we saw improvement in the drainage infrastructure by the, and we saw the construction of some six major drains three in newcastle two in wally and one at westbury we also madam president and i made it very clear in the initial discussion on this project that i've always been a little uncomfortable going around hurricane hill madam president and i felt that this was an opportunity for us to remedy that situation I am happy that Hurricane Hill has been reduced and the line of sight going around and over Hurricane Hill has significantly been enhanced, Madam President. Phase two saw the rehabilitation of 3.5 kilometers of road and the widening of the road between cliff dwellers and the Uwali water taxi pair. The Honorable Brand informed that 1.3 kilometers of side drains, curbs and slippers, U-drains and V-drains were installed to remedy drainage issues in that area. 
He went on to note the upgrade to the water distribution system. We have also seen some improvement in the water supply along the road construction from cliff dwellers to Nisbet. We have seen new six inch distribution. We have also seen some improvement in the water supply along the road construction from cliff dwellers to Nisbet. We have seen new six inch distribution lines from cliff dwellers to Hurricane Hill. We have also seen, Madam President, new service lines throughout the entire length of the project. And we have seen, Madam President, significant improvement in the electricity supply as the Nevis Electricity Company would have relocated some 12 poles, 